Alright guys, today we're gonna be looking at those brand new LEGO Minion sets. Boy, were they hard to find. Oh yeah, Minions! Oh, I love Minions! Ooh, especially LEGO ones! Yep, that's right, Zyber Steve, and we've got a lot of coolness within these two sets, so let's get to unboxing! Yay! Alright guys, so like I said, we've got both Minion sets that they've released so far for the LEGO, and this is based on that new movie, The Minions Rise of Gru, that has been pushed back till next year. Ah, uh, man, but at least we get two new sets based on that cool movie featuring all the cool minions. The first set here we're going to look at is the Unstoppable Bike Chase. And the second one, we have the Brick Built Minions Lair, which contains all the super cool robot minions. All right, first up is this bike featuring Gru and a couple minions. And of course, this is a smaller set that once we put this together, boom, bam! Ha, check out, we get Gru's bike from the movie. <laughs> Oh, and of course, he's a little kid in this movie, and this thing looks great. We got wheels in the back, wheels up front. Let's see, we got a rocket in the back. That's pretty cool. And we get this thing with a little skull on it. Oh man, Gru's riding in style. And then we get these little handlebars, which makes this one awesome bike. Now we just need the minifigure of Gru, and it's right here. And oh man, unfortunately, this figure is kind of lame. Oh, it looks nothing like Gru. Oh man, where's his nose and crazy features on his face? Off a cry out loud. Now it seems like the only downside to this playset is the figure of Gru here because, well, it's really plain looking. Whereas when we look at a franchise of trolls, well, it did such a good job on this one, we know it's a troll. In fact, if we look at the Mega Bloks version of Gru here, well, we see that they did such an amazing job on this one over the Lego version. I mean, this is what Lego should have done, give him a big nose that comes out front like that. I mean, with this one, you can't even tell it's Gru. Oh, if I cried out loud. Ugh, not sure why they did that, because a couple years ago, well, Mecha Blocks is making all these really cool minion figures, so I'm wondering how the minions themselves stack up against the Lego figures. Now, once getting these guys out of the package here, you see that, uh, oh man, they're in a bunch of pieces. Oh, weird. That's not how the Mega Blocks versions came. Yeah, but the Lego ones, look at this. We get their bodies, we get their heads, and oh man, their eyes aren't even attached either. They come in little parts like this. Oh, weird, so we have to put him on? And ta-da! We have our first figure here of that little Bob. Oh, and is he so cute? But of course, now I kind of wonder how he stacks up against the Mega Bloks version. So here we have the Lego version of Bob, and over here we have the Mega Bloks version of Bob. All right, so yep, they look the same, but similar. But I gotta say, I think the Mega Bloks version looks better than the uh, Lego version. Oh, a lot more detailed for sure but it looks like this guy fits right into the uh, universe that Lego is trying to build. And yeah, let's see, this set also comes with the figure of Stuart, <laughs> and he doesn't have an eye either. And ta-da, we have our Stuart figure, which is the Cyclops guy. <laughs> so there he is all the way around, looking really cool. And then we'll just put Bob next to him. And those are the many figures that come with this set, along with that plain looking Gru. And here is the bike that Gru rides on. So let's see, let's get Gru up here and into the driver's seat of this really awesome motorcycle. And ta-da! Ooh, it looks like he's gonna cause some mischief on this thing. Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> Puppet Steve, ah, oh, you said it. I have the coolest bike in the world. <laughs> I think not, Gru. I have the coolest bike in the world. Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> just look at all the flames coming off my bike. <laughs> Oh, that is a pretty cool bike. I must have it for my own. Minions, go get that bike! <laughs> Wait a minute, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me, Ghost Rider. I am Gru, and I am going to be the super cool evil genius. <laughs> now, if you want to make Gru's bike even cooler, well, check this out. We've got this chain right here because... On it, we can attach a sidecar. And it's got enough spaces on this thing so we can put a minion up here and a minion in back. Ha <laughs> ha, boy, I love that. But once getting these back on, let's see, let's attach this chain. And ba bam Oh, cool, we have Gru's bike complete with that sidecar with those minions. All right, minions, let's go. We got to knock over the next bank. <laughs> All right, let's go to the bank. Ah, oh, come on, minions. This will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love minions. Oh, this set is so fun. 
All right, kids, well, there's the first set coming at you of the Unbikeable Bike Chase set. But now it's time to check out the set with, ooh, the Minion Robots. So let's go ahead and first check out these mini figures because in this set we get three. And first up is, oh, look at that. It's, <laughs> it's Bob in a martial arts uniform. And this is a really cool figure. He's got a yellow jumpsuit on. He's got one of those straw hats on. <laughs> and as you can see, he looks just like the regular Bob here, but he's got different eyes and a different outfit. So yep, two Bobs in this really cool Lego playset land. And next up, we have the figure of Stuart, which we've gotten before, but this time he is in striped pajamas. Oh, isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And then last but not least, we've got the awesome Kevin figure, which we didn't get in the other set. So yep, there he is in his regular uniform, which when we put all three of these guys together, bam, bam, we've got the team together again. All right, now, I wanna check out those really awesome robots because look how tall they are. And once looking at the first book here, it looks like we get to put the first robot together of Stuart. <laughs> look at Stuart down below. He's like, hey, I can't wait to put this guy together. And as you can see, well, we start off with the bottom and work our way up to make our figure, which when it's all complete, bum, bum, bum. Whoa! Now this is puppetastic. Check out this giant robot of Stuart. Look at that big old eyeball. And it also rotates. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's got his little hairs up top. So this is one giant minion that I just love. <laughs> He's got little buttons on his outfit. And, oh, check this out. We've even got articulation in hands. Ah, cool. And the legs, those also move as well. So look at that. Big old giant Stuart coming at you. And when we compare to the other Stuart, hey, look how small he is. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. But like I gotta say, the coolest thing about this robot is if we flip this around here, well, we've got two nodules on the back, which if we pull these apart, whoa, bum, 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 check it out. We've got a whole layer inside for Stuart to run around in. And on one side, we've got all kinds of monitors and gizmos. Oh, I love that. I wonder what that does. Not sure, but go over here. We've got target practice. Oh, that's cool. We got posters, more gizmos, and in the middle, oh, what's this do? Oh, it turns the eyeball thing. Oh, that's neat. So, yep, turn the eyeball there. And it looks like this comes down. So, let's see, pull this down. And, oh, cool, it's a place for him to sleep. Ah, oh, no wonder he's in pajamas. He can go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So, close that up and oh, it doesn't really close. <laughs> so, I'll have to flip this up. Sorry, Stuart. Close that up and ba bam, we've got a walking Stuart layer. Yeah. Okay, so if we look at this second booklet here, it looks like we get to make another robot, which is the robot of Kevin. And the same thing happens where you start from the bottom, work your way up, and boom, boom! Whoa, check it out, we've got ourselves a robot of Kevin. Nice, and of course, it's a lot taller than Stuart there. So it's pretty cool, and it's got two eyeballs this time. <laughs> oh, look at that, you can make them all googly eye looking. Oh, that's cool. And then up top here, we've got his little hair. Oh, so spiky and small. Pull this apart and, whoa, we get to see inside this robot. And check it out, we've got all kinds of monitors in the side. Let's see, oh, we got this little spinny thing to spin the eyeballs here. Ooh, look at him go. And it looks like down below, we've got a seat for our figure. So let's see, let's put old Kevin here to monitor the monitors. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Over on the side here, we've got all kinds of pipes. Let's see, on the other side, we've got crowbars. And nice. So, yep, just another really cool set. Let's see if you can fit in there. <laughs> oh, you can actually fit inside this one. So that's pretty cool, and you can run it. Oh, I am Kevin. I am coming to destroy you. Jump, 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 jump. And, uh oh, look out, City! Oh, here comes Kevin. He's coming for you. I want some Pepsi. <laughs> oh, he's going to eat all the Pepsi. Run, destroy the city. So, yep, we've got two robots from this really awesome set. But, of course, you know what downsides? We don't get a robot of Bob. Well, wait a minute. If we look at this instruction booklet again, there he is right there. How weird. So, you know what? I think Lego gave us this whole extra baggie of parts here. I think we're supposed to build Bob from these other two characters. Wow, check it out. But you can't build both at the same time. 
Well, sorry, Kevin. Looks like we're gonna have to bust you apart so we can make ourselves a Bob figure. <laughs> All right, so, uh, come on, Kevin. In. Oh, I smashed you in half. All right, we gotta build ourselves a Bob. So let's see, get all this stuff out of here. And what's adding in these extra pieces? Uh, make ourselves. Ta-da! Oh, we got Bob. <laughs> oh, isn't he so cool looking? Oh man, the big robot figure of Bob is here. And it looks like it's a little bit smaller than Stuart. And of course, if we compare it to the little Bob, oh boy, he is super tall. All right, let's get to the meat of this guy. So let's open this thing up here and boom, bam. Ooh, we got ourselves a really cool layer for Bob. Oh, cool, start with this cool knob, which <laughs> gives him all kinds of googly eyes. <laughs> And let's see, it looks like we've got all kinds of leaves all around, and oh man, check it out. It looks like a martial arts studio. There he is in his training dojo. So let's see, let's put Bob right there. And ta-da, he's ready for some martial arts mayhem. Ah, oh, cool, so let's close this up. <laughs> and he's locked up inside, and our little Bob robot can go off into the big city. Oh, where are you going, Bob? Oh man, he's reading the pizza store. <laughs> ah, Bob loves that pizza. Yeah. All right, kids, so there's both Lego minion sets coming at you. And if you want these for your very own, we'll make sure you start checking out Targets and Walmarts now because they're starting to show up. They're pretty hard to find, but just keep at it and you will find them. Nice.